I was watching some of my ex-schoolmates and girls that I played a lot of cricket with. I definitely did enjoy listening to their chat and it did bring back memories of the terrible chat that we had when we were playing out there with them. A lot of people always bring it up, just the um, double international thing. I played alongside Susie Bates, who um, cricket and basketball. She's definitely someone who, when I look at her, I, she shows that it is possible. And actually quite determined to continue with both. I'm just wanting to get the most out of myself with netball, and I don't think I'd be able to if I was still trying to jump between the two. Cricket and netball I think made me enjoy the other one so much more and because it was almost like a getaway. People talk, you know, everyone has their getaways but mine was just to another sport. <laughs> they definitely complement each other but yeah, then they do clash at the same time. <laughs> George is pretty much the same as me but we play different positions so I'm, I've got the advantage of the height and um, the midcourt and I think that's a lot of what's gotten me through and she's a shooter. And she is, like, she's tall, but it's a lot harder to make it through as an um, average-sized shooter. So she's doing great for how she's going. And she's playing some really good netball, and I'm quite excited, and I'm really hoping that eventually the two of us will be able to play together in that ANZ level. What time's your flight up to Wellington? I think it's 2.30. Oh, cool. We're obviously competitive, but, like, in some ways, but we're more supportive, I think. We encourage each other, so it's pretty good. It's a good way to be, I think, instead of the other way around. I'm really enjoying the Beko side this year. It's pretty cool. And it's different not being in the same team as Kate for once. We have actually something to talk about because <laughs> we're not always like, know what ex exactly what each other's up to. The Steel team normally plays afterwards, thanks, after a Beko game, so she gets to watch the first few quarters and she's always got some feedback to give me. Some. Obviously on my mum's side, Mum was the silver fern. So proud, so <laughs> proud, Georgie, you put the yes. gold defence bib on. Yes. I'm really positive in the way that she's, um, she believes that we can too, because, yeah, and so um, knowing someone and having someone as close as your mum, being able to go all the way in netball, very, very assuring to know that it's possible. And I guess we tend to talk about them in the same breath a lot, but from a young age, they both just loved playing sport. They did everything. We've never felt there's a big rush to split and to choose one sport because, you know, they, they were so young and they're still only 19, so being able to do both for as long as she can is as important to her as it is to us. They just love seeing us um, achieving and, yeah, we're really lucky to have that. Knocked away by Heffin and she's a tall wing defence. Yeah, it's a massive step up to the ANZ level in netball. I, I'm definitely still getting used to it. It's, I go through stages in the game where I do find myself sort of getting a little bit lost and it's the speed, it's so fast and you don't really have much time to sort of think about anything. Yeah, you sort of become just trying to be a big sponge, taking in absolutely everything. Yeah, really want to nail my steel season, really want to become a consistent and reliable player.